I just had a thought. Something Walter said earlier um, kind of struck me and made me feel a little bit better today, which is that like when those times in your life, they just get like too much. It feels like too much. You know, when everything's happening all at once, um, it's the sign, it's a sign, sign that something really big is, is about to happen. And, um, I, I don't know if this is what he meant, <laughs> um, or if he just was talking in general, I don't, I don't know. Um, my first thought was like, money? <laughs> That's, that's the first thought because I'm obsessed with it, right? Um, anyway, I am because I'm obsessed with the lack of it, which is not something to be obsessed about. Um, wow, yeah, yeah, all these messages, <laughs> all these messages I've been getting for two years that are all like sinking in. Interesting. my back anyway so what I think is gonna happen is I'm going to reach a reach a higher place <laughs> no like reach a higher level of consciousness you know like I'm lying in bed and I'm listening to Michael Singer and um, he's talking about how you are not your body but we identify with our body We are the ones who sees, the, you know, who who uh, perceive the body. But, and I always got that. It's intellectually. But all of a sudden, I felt it, and it was like, oh, I am just aware of this body. <laughs> I am not actually this body. I am just aware of it, and it comes and goes, and I just hope I can like train myself to keep that in mind that's why I, another reason I'm recording this um, because I am I am just perceiving things. it's weird because it's an, I'm inside of it <laughs> it's weird because like I'm I'm inside of it um, so I assume it's me but it's just what's surrounding me Yeah, it's the same. Yes, yes. I've been listening to this for like Michael Singer for like a year um, or more. And these are the concepts that he's talking about the whole time. But I think you, it's like you, you go through different levels of understanding, right? Yeah, I can perceive my body as a body. It's just, I'm, I'm still up in my head. Like I'm identifying with my head. <laughs> the rest of my body, yeah, I can do that. It's just a, it's just a body, but I'm in my head. This is where I reside. So interesting to think of it this way. I mean, like to really get that. I mean, I'm sure that there's a deeper level of understanding that I will come to at some other point, but, um, I'm happy about that. I think it's showing that I'm making a lot of progress. I mean, I know that all these things that I'm talking about are like, duh. <laughs> duh. Yeah, you, you have a pattern. <laughs> yeah, that's what the pattern is. I've noticed it my whole life, but never thought, hey, well, I never, it's not that I... It's not that I never thought do something different. I just didn't know what to do. Um, and it, and it and it's a thing throughout my. That's another theme throughout my life. I, when I don't know what to do, I freeze. And I'm filled with terror, which is another thing that we were, I was talking about originally um, in the other video. But yeah, I'm 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 the deer in headlights. Like I am like that's that's. I'm working on it, 
but my reaction has thus far been oh my neck guys my neck okay let me sit down oh okay back still kind of tweaked out um but so damn it <laughs> this eye came open much slower than this eye could do some eye exercises um So I am aware of the body and a different understanding of it, and I'm sure I'll come to a different understanding of it later on. So I think that that's what's coming down the road for me, and it's starting already. I think, because it, it can't, I don't know, I don't know if you can get there without having like a shit time. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't think, I don't think you can. It's the contracts thing, right? Like you come down and you have to learn these certain things. This is like crazy, guys. <laughs> like, I actually believe this now. Um, oh, it's just now kind of, kind of really solidified that. Like, yeah, I am not my body. There is something other than my body here. There's something. It's not, it's not my body <laughs> because I'm observing my body. So if I am, okay, like I know these are not new concepts. I know, and I've been studying this for like a long time, but Michael Singer, man, Michael Singer, just keep listening. I listen to Audible. Just keep listening. Just keep listening. It just, it gets better every time something else comes out. Um, so, you know, I'm inside the body and it's i mean like i know i keep going back to this, but it's just getting it through my brain like my body is an object of my of my um perception even my brain think about it like you feel different than your brain i mean not i mean you know that your mind is what talks to you um in your head which is what you think you are which is I really hope that these concepts stay with me. Um, I'll just, or just have to come back and watch this video. But, um, wow. So. Oh God, I lost it again. See, this is, I, this is my need to focus. This is my need to focus. This is part of the problem. <laughs> this is part of the problem. This is, I don't know if it's part of the problem, but it is indicative of the problem. That I can't stay with one thought stream. I have to, I like, I, I've been working on it. I have been working on it. I have been working on it. I, you know, like, Brahm helped me. <laughs> Um, but like, I would be talking and like, I'd start to veer off and I would be like, no, wait, I I'd, I'd, like chop the air and then I put that aside. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like chop the air and put that aside. Yep. It's messy as fuck. <laughs> I don't have time to clean, um, and fold laundry. That's so there's just a lot of clean laundry there and I'm figuring out where I should put the dirty laundry. That is what's happening. cluttered mind much um okay we're being real you know if it's like if we're here if we're here let's just be real <laughs> right, right, let's be real i uh, i've been very much avoiding ever showing my room to people <laughs> um but it is indicative of mindset right it is indicative of, oh, maybe I should clean my room. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I should clean my room. I just feel guilty when I'm not doing work for, uh, for you know, my company. <laughs> um, and I just feel like if, when I'm taking time, if I am going to take time off from it, like I should be relaxing. <laughs> So I never clean the room. 
oh wow it's all it's all linked together it is all linked together interesting interesting <laughs> all right all right all right realizations you got anything else <laughs> uh man so oh so yeah so i would go i would start off a different like branch because something distracted me <laughs> thought distracted me that i thought was funny or interesting generally i think they're interesting so i just instead stop and say it you know um and the, the conversation was going a different in a different direction the point of the conversation was going this way and i was like right so i would just like cut and then i would push it away and i you know i kind of physically have to do that um and it does feel like it's going away it's strange um i guess it's the energy <laughs> the energy because that's it's so interesting it's so interesting mm -mm -mm. i got that at a different level folks that's awesome <laughs> um yeah so the thing that i originally came on to talk to you about i'm so thirsty right now i'm on a medication it's like no i'm not gonna show you my thing again that was gross um So, um, the thing I was coming on to tell you, which is kind of scary, one of the scary, the terror feeling I just described in the first sentence, <laughs> or the second sentence of the, the video that I started. I'm able to take a lot of more deep breaths. I think because I cracked up the, the pressure in my back. Like my lungs can actually expand more. And it is awfully calming. It is awfully slow, deep breaths, very calming. Now that I can breathe deeper, wow, nice. <laughs> um, so, terror. see here's now here's the dilemma feeling terror about something and it's not it's not like a lion is after me it's not like a snake is hissing no no it's <laughs> it's because of something like I have to I have to pick one way even to the point to the little it Even to like the littlest thing in life, like the littlest, like I'll, I'll, and I know some of us do this, like, but like, I'll, I'll look at that menu for a long time. <laughs> it takes a long time for me to figure out what I want. Cause I feel like there's a wrong choice, but there's not in life. I mean, okay, there is, okay, let's stop there. There is, but as long as you're not hurt, it's like, what, it, oh man, yeah. Yeah, we gotta do some eye exercises. I honestly believe, I don't know if it's true. It's something I came up with in my head. Um, like, oh, this is gonna strengthen my eyes, like my eyelids, but who knows. Um, probably this would do a better job. Anyway, um, so, see, this is what it, this is what happens. I go down an alley of what I think is an interesting or funny thought. But it's really, it's really like me just being like, isn't my brain fun? <laughs> Look at the weird stuff I come up with. Um, so yeah, see, that, I did it again. All right, the terror thing. Um, so. I'm at a certain point with a company 
um, where we haven't had a new client in a while. We haven't had a new client in a while. And, oh my God. Ah. down there in our funds and in my own funds like way down <laughs> way down What I need to do and what I've been working on in the past few weeks or for a long actually no that's true not true it's just in a different way a different understanding of it a different practice of it do you see that um, <laughs> see go down the road have a hard time getting back all right um, not to pattern. What was it? It's the last thing I remember talking about. A terror thing? Yes, okay. Alright, so when these feelings come, you have to allow yourself to feel them. And I know, again, I've been saying this. <laughs> All the things I'm saying are not news. They're not. I'm just really getting it <laughs> on a different level. I'm sure, like, I know, I know I'm going in a circle now. I'm sure I will get more. It's not like my brain is enlightened <laughs> at all. But, um, but I do have a deep, deeper understanding of it, which is nice. Okay, all right, stop going down that lane you've gone down it a couple of times um, so you have to let yourself feel it and, and like right now I'm feeling a lot of, of terror <laughs> let's just be honest terror um, but it doesn't really help to talk about it. it actually makes me want to cry more but is that releasing it or is that just egging myself on <laughs> something else I discovered is like I'm a self-pity party a lot of times and I thought I'd gotten rid of it I really because I had I realized that early on and I've worked you know anytime I've noticed it I've worked at not being that way but it, it comes back in some shape or form <laughs> um, and I haven't really noticed it but I'm realizing that given the events of my life that must be what happened um, so when you're allowing this feeling to come or when I, again, speaking just for myself, and again, you can see how messy my room is. I don't care, because you know what? We're being real. We're being real. I'm not proud of it. I am a little embarrassed and ashamed, but we're being real. Don't think that I, I'm, I'm like so super comfortable with all of this. I'm, it's, it's just, it's, it's uncomfortable a lot of the time. <laughs> but um, I, I think it's important to get this out there that like these are the thoughts people have and there are different ways of dealing with them there are different ways of dealing with your emotions and I know it's just me as an example but like there are there are and you'll feel so much better it, it takes work <laughs> but you feel so much better um, and you understand things so much more and that 
that leads out of out of some suffering. It does. Um, every time you understand something a bit more. Um, although Michael Singer says and is obviously right that you shouldn't really have to know why. You should just accept it. But it's interesting to have to know why, right? Anyway. Oh my god, down with the okay. So as the feeling comes in, like the terror the terror thing is this like hot rod, thin rod going up from my chest down to my stomach and up to my throat. And like as soon as I feel it, I tense up and I push it back down. And it's not even something I'm really conscious of doing. I I start doing it before I can catch myself. So it's like, mm, okay, no, no, no. Next time, just next time, allow yourself to feel it. And it gets more and more. Um, it's easier. It becomes easier and easier to let go. Um, but you have to keep at it. It's not something that just happens. I know that I can open up my heart space. I know what that means. Like I am really. I'm growing. This is a growth spurt, guys. This is a growth spurt. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. This is a growth spurt. Like a big one. Nice. <laughs> it's not all gone, though. I can feel it in my brain. Some things in there that I'm actually not going to say because they're not nice. About myself, but, you know. Um, anyway. So as I learned to let go, or as I allowed myself to let go, and it's scary, right? It's scary. You are not going to die. And I know that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I know it does. But I also know if you examine your feelings, that's what you're feeling. It's terrifying. It can be terrifying. These thoughts, these feelings are just... Or they're, they're really scary sometimes. And, uh... Oh, I am literally... I Wow, guys. Like, I know I keep repeating it, but, like, more and more is fitting together right now. And, like, what my actions have been leading up to right now... Um, for the past several weeks. Interesting. And then seeing like, okay, well, what did that correspond to? <laughs> I know exactly what that corresponded to. Interesting. Okay. So that, the sort of nail on the head. So we've got this company that I love and I love the people who are working with me and I love, I love the work. I love the work. The issue is sales. <laughs> anyway, 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 uh, 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 put that aside, put that aside. Um, but yeah, if you examine, you be truthful to yourself, the, the kind, I don't know. Okay. Again, I can't speak to you. I cannot speak to you. Um, or for you, but for me, when I really break it down and, and get out of my mind, oh, that's ridiculous that I would think that I'm going to die. I sit there with the feeling and it feels like I'm going to die. <laughs> <sighs> that's how scary it is, you know, and I know that that it can get that way and not for everybody, <laughs> but for those of you who know what I'm talking about. are not going to die. It's scary as fuck though. But then when you open it up, you're like, why was I so scared? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Why? Why? Um, it's like, it's like breaking up the tension on my back. I'm breaking up these thoughts. Awesome guys. Awesome. Fucking awesome. Awesome. Stick with me here. If you want. I don't know. I'm going to keep doing going because I'm finding this very interesting. And it's making me say it out loud. It's making me think it out. So let's think it out together. Oh, I'm thirsty 
thirstiness. Thirstiness. I'm going to start a community and I'm going to encourage people to make posts about like whatever they're feeling and how they are choosing to, to, to deal with it differently. What a cool community. That's right. It's awesome. Um, God damn it. But I have, oh my gosh. <gasps> Sorry. I'm pressing like my muscle in my shin and that there's some tension down there. Um, Man, yeah, yeah, this is breaking things up. Um, it's just this, you know, in there again, it's not new, but it's a collection of beliefs that were interdependent or are interdependent. And like, I'm picturing kind of like a hexagonal, like almost like a beehive, you know, like pieces, like boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Hexagonal? Is that what? How many? Ten? I don't remember. Um, but not one, two, maybe like a, a pentagon. <laughs> Only like equal on all the sides. And they all kind of fit together, you know, in, in rows. And like, you, I, I hope you're, you're picturing what I'm thinking because I know that I'm not really describing it that well. Um, but I'm seeing like blocks that are not like they're uh empty they're like putting them in the the holes and they they like the star shape and stuff like that um only without like the bottom and <laughs> they're stacked so you know they're stacked on their sides and in a way on each other that's what i'm thinking that's how i'm feeling about um the collection of thoughts and they were stuck together with tension <laughs> bound together with tension with holding on to them with the tension through the tension and one by one these thoughts that I know, I know, <laughs> um, I know, but now I know <laughs> in a different way. I'm not going to go down that road again. Um, so yeah, the, um, The idea that like one is falling off and like that's maybe one up there is falling off so it kind of forces other ones to fall away um in my mind it's in a liquid <laughs> not, maybe not a liquid but like moving slowly because they're they're drawn together they're like almost stuck together so they're like uh, uh, uh. Okay, sorry that, that thing. so that's what i'm sort of picturing with um these ideas like it's like the tension in my back and my neck breaking up like I really went after my neck this morning I got some quality tension out of my neck this morning I mean it's not all gone obviously but it, I've also discovered that if I if I do it too much I hurt myself <laughs> so you know just a little like I can feel this tension but I can feel the tension now I mean like it's separate like I, it's broken up and I can feel where the where the brakes are. It's like, it's not solid tension. Awesome. Um, so and that's what's happening in my brain. And, um, now, now that I've gone over that for enough time, what was the, the fear and feeling, uh, allowing yourself to feel it and clenching. I knew I'd get back there. So the emotion comes in and you clench because it hurts and you want to steel yourself against it, right? Because that's what you do physically. That's what you do physically. <laughs> um, that's a physical reaction and we are not our bodies. So 
we feel the fear as painful as something from the outside. That's why our bodies are reacting that way. Our body perceives it as a dangerous thing. And I know it's not a new idea, but I'm getting it <laughs> in a different way. Um, and that every time I do that, guys, every time I lose my, my way. So I'm going to stop doing that, right? If you see me pause, that's probably what I'm doing in my head. Um, okay, so you're clenching. You're clenching this emotion, holding it like a, like a, like that, right? In your body, in your body, you're storing that because you couldn't handle it. Yeah. Okay. Michael Singer, I get it. <laughs> well, um, clenching. So the only way to let the clenching go is to work at it. It doesn't happen all at once. Like breaking up tension, breaking up your thought system doesn't happen all at once, but it can go in leaps and bounds. You just keep working at it. Even when it feels like you're not going anywhere a little bit, keep working at it. Keep working at it because it, 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 it's an add up thing. It's a cumulative thing. Um, and you got to keep working at it. Like, like I, I, what I always imagine is like a clenched, like, you know, if you've been doing this for way too long or, you know, holding something with tension for way too long, then it, like it, it can become kind of like painful to like open it up. And that's, that's how I see what's happening. Um, cause the, the feeling comes out, it shoots through and it's no, <laughs> like that. And, um, similar to what happened to my back, breaking up the tension of my back, I, like I felt it. Oh, this is crazy. It's all coming together. <laughs> Um, I felt it. I lost it again. Clenching. Letting go. Opening it up. And then eventually this becomes, okay, tension. Um, so it's a tense, it's, I don't know if it's physical tension, that I'm, but I'm certainly around my heart space. I've been working at it. I've been, I've been opening it up. I've been imagining it all the tension. I've been breaking up all the tension for a lot, for, for a couple, like, I would say like a month or two. Can't really remember. I can't pinpoint a date, but, um, I keep, I, it was like, I started little and then I kept being a bit more serious about it. You know, like going a bit more serious about it. So keep at it, right? A bit more serious about it. Um, excuse me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so <sighs> tension, opening the tension. Um, and when you do that, it get like a muscle. Like it first, it comes in, and then and then it can relax more. So I had to. I had to do that. That's what I was doing emotionally and physically. I'm physically targeting this tension and it is breaking up the shit in my mind. It's <laughs> interesting. It's interesting. Really interesting. We really do store this in our in our bodies. So what I've learned to do now, and it's not, I'm, I'm at this point, not like, you know, not, not like that, but like, I just open them and it's coming, that's what it is. It's coming closer and closer to the point where it's going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's what, 
that's how I'm seeing it. Um, so now I can feel the emotion and I get to the point where I'm just like, I, I tense for a second, well not for a second, but it's a tension. And I remind myself to relax because I now know what relaxing feels like. <laughs> I now know how to do it because <laughs> I know what it feels like. I know my muscles can actually do it. Wow. Wow. So that's what I'm working on, and I think soon I'll it'll be like, oh, right? I'm really excited about that. So the feeling comes up, and the, what I was feeling terrified about is this money thing and it's I think it, it terrifies a lot of people in these situations um, but I have people I have to pay and it's been scaring me for a while <laughs> a lot a lot um, And it's making me tense up. Ooh, like I keep on, like, I, I can feel that parts of it aren't, like, I can feel parts of it that are tense, so I can feel parts of it that aren't, or that are less. Like, I can still feel, like, how hard this muscle is. That's, that's, like, bad. But, um, it kind of moved. Anyway, okay, okay, see? Distractions, guys, distractions. They're all good news, though. Um, and like the other night, I, I went and I, I started, I picked up a pencil and some paper and I started drawing and I'm rusty as hell, rusty as hell, but like this feeling of like, it was almost like, like cold water or like cooling water that fell down my back off my shoulders and kind of just fell. Um, that felt really good. <laughs> that felt really good. Um, all these things are happening for me. They're all happening for me. <sighs> Which I want to say it sucks. Because <laughs> I still have to go through it. But I'm taking it seriously now. Like, I have to go through this. Um, like, all of them. Not just a few of them. Not just the ones that are stuck. The ones that come, keep coming. I can feel it shoot up. And it's in, it's like a little slice in my right shoulder. Not my shoulder blade, but the muscle that's kind of like next to it holding it on holding on to it it's like a little sh um and i can just relax and release that part because I, I felt it this time um so that's what i would say if you're having the same similar issue try it right go get a ball and really, really work on breaking up the tension in your body. Let's see what happens. Um, and think about things. You can't just like break the tension up and not think about things. You have to think, think things through. <laughs> Listen to Michael Singer, right? And then hit one of the, something he says will spur a thought, which is what just happens, right? And that's, that's all that just happened. See, I knew I should get up. <laughs> I was playing there like, Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to get up. Like, but this is a, this is a good thought. This is a good thought. So, I'm sorry. I'm uh, massaging my calf muscle. So if you see me like, <laughs> like that's what that is. Um. So, my other calf muscle. So, um, yeah, that's my thought on that break that shit up and then 
start opening or start opening first start opening your heart start start sensing where your heart space is and breathe it and be able to so that's why i started relaxing my muscles <laughs> okay um i wanted to feel my heart space right and i couldn't with all the tension there so now i can feel the difference between my heart space and like the muscles around it because the muscles around it were kind of constricting it you know um <laughs> sorry it's like these are all the concepts that michael singer talks about and i'm just thinking it out and being like yeah 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 that's that's all true <laughs> it's all true okay i'm gonna let you guys go to bed because i need to go to bed and get up early what time is it 1 it's not as bad as i thought to be honest with you um anyway I hope that I've been of help. I know I've helped myself. I'm very grateful for this. You know, I'm grateful for the things that have happened. It still it still hurts to say that. <laughs> We're working on that, but that's the thing. I'm not gonna give up. Okay, yeah, that's still there, but I'm gonna work on it. Because um, I know that I'm capable, capable of it. And it's just like when you start, it really is just a matter of keep doing it. Even if it's not working, just keep doing it as much as you can you know you'll 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 forget about it for like a day like that you meant to to, to relax and relax, or like two days that's why that's why i listen to michael singer every day <laughs> like every day so that these thoughts stay in my head um and i think that's really once that's i think it's a really good thing that i'm doing to be honest with you, I think it's a really, I think it's necessary for me in my life right now. All these, all these ideas have been planted and they're, they're being understood. So yeah, I'm grateful for Michael Singer. Um, but I'm going to relax that space that had that jolt, the same kind of space up here and then on my, you know, in my back but again my back is still kind of twicking out so <clears throat> um although maybe it will stop soon oh, that'll be nice um yeah so i'm grateful for that and i'm grateful for you guys and i'm grateful for this and i'm just gonna remind you guys all even when the bad shit's happening it's happening for you not to you it really is it really is so learn the lessons from it everything that happens you can put it to use in the understanding yourself and in doing this work everything everything that happens <laughs> and uh yeah that's why this confluence of things are happening and hopefully hopefully no it will happen i'm breaking this shit up which will make it so much easier for me to get work done Like, I almost feel relief thinking about that, but I still don't trust myself. That's going to take a little while. That's going to take a little while. Because um, I, I still have to do it consistently. Um, by which I mean... Um, remind you all that no matter what's happening you can always choose to have a great full 